um, but it means that we respect the cultures that we live in, and it means also that m Muslims were never aliens in any country they lived in. We don't, we're not aliens. We are your neighbors. We live with you. And of course, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin fahuwa minhum that whoever imitates a people belongs to them. But tashabbuh, as our fuqaha tell us, is not tashabuh, and it is not mushabaha. Tashabbuh is when you imitate people in a subservient way, which indicates that you do not have self-esteem and you don't have identity. And another thing, too, is that when we talk about the law, Really, you know, we have to understand the time we live in and the times of the past. In fact, our fuqaha say that in order to understand the law, you have to know four types of urf or ada, four types of good, of cultural conventions. First of all, you have to know those of the days of the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. How did he live? How did they cook? How did what were their clothing like? They didn't wear clothes like this. They wore clothes very similar to what you men wear in pilgrimage. That was basically their dress. A lot of Yemenis still were dressed that way, and Indonesians. But most of them dressed that, and they were very poor as a result. Uh, not as a result, but that they were very poor. And their clothing was a result of that. So we have to understand that. Then you have to understand the culture of the fuqaha. So the time of Abu Hanifa is not the time of Muhammad ibn al-Hassan al-Shaybani, for example. There's a little bit of difference there. And even in Hanafi fiqh, if you talk about things like uh, deposits or guarantees, then it, it will show you that what held for Abu Hanifa does not hold today in the days of Muhammad ibn al-Hassan al-Shaybani because people have changed. So you have to know that. Then you have to know the culture of your people. So you'd have to know the culture of South Africa, and you do know that. I wish I did, and I'm really happy to be here, and I hope to come back. I think you are really valuable to us. We will learn a lot from you, and I hope we can work together. But then also, is the culture of Cape Town the same as Durban? Or is Durban the same as Johannesburg? No. That's what I guessed. <laughs> but then also, is the culture of the poor and the neglected, the same as the culture of people who might live in what we call gated communities. No, it's not the same. You see, so you have to know that as well, so that when you apply the law, you apply it correctly for each situation. So, al ada muhakkama. And Muslims lived this way for over a thousand years. And it is reflected in everything they did wherever they went. For that reason, our scholars say that Islam was a crystal clear river. It's a beautiful metaphor because Islam is the water. And the water is pure. And the water has no color. And the water has no taste. But it will reflect the color of the bedrock. So if that bedrock were emerald, it would be green. Or ruby, it would be red. Or sand, it would be sandy. Or if it were something else, it would look that color. And we can also say, if it were Chinese, it will look Chinese. And if it were Indian, it will look Indian. And if it were South Indian, it will look South Indian, like Kerala. Kerala is one of the first areas where Islam came in India. Even we're told in the days of Malik ibn Dinar, who was a successor. And he was a great man from Basra. So when it goes to Africa, it looks what? African. And when it goes to Europe, it looks European. The Bosnians created the most incredibly beautiful European Muslim culture you can imagine. You can't imagine it. Most of it was destroyed in the genocide. And in fact, Sidi Hakim Winter, Abdul Hakim Winter, a dear friend of mine who knows Bosnia and used to go to Bosnia before the genocide. 
he told me that the Europeans destroyed this because they would not be able to resist it. It is so beautiful and so European. So in, it's Hanafi, Shari, but very European. And uh, then when Islam came to Spain and Portugal and Sicily, it was Sicilian. It was Spanish. It was Portuguese. So we are not culturally predatory. We are not out to destroy cultures. And this is something very, very important. We have to keep this in mind. 